Okay, so welcome to the second video of the Easy Clones series. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add, shuffle, and renumber new clones. So if we just pick up from where we left off, uh, we've got this animation that we built in the first demo. Um, so let's say in a real world situation, our client is really happy with the animation we've built here, but they then later on decide that they want to introduce some, some circles and some triangles to our animation. So I'm going to show you how you would go about adding that to our existing clone system. So first of all, you need to draw the artwork, which I've already pre-prepared. So then you just need to select your artwork layers and we're going to go to the second button on the Easy Clones panel, which is Add Clones. So again, when you click this, it's going to open up a dialog box, dialog window, sorry. And here you'll see there's a drop down. If you have multiple clone controls in your composition, it will tell you, give you a list of each one. Obviously, we've only got one right now, so it only gives us one option and center to control. So we do want to center it and we want to add it to squares and we're just going to click OK. So now what you'll see is our circle and our triangle have been added to our system and it's a smart system. So it will notice how many clones you've got already in your your current system. So we had seven. So you'll see it's introduced as eight and nine. <coughs> So this is all well and good, and you can see we have our system moving, but obviously it doesn't feel very varied because we have our circle in our triangle right at the end of the system. And we've got a bunch of squares going first and then our new shapes. So let's just quickly duplicate a few more of these shapes so we can feel like we've got a bit more of an even balance between all of our shapes. And then this is where the shuffle cl clones button comes into play. So what you can do, as I mentioned, our delay is triggered by these numbers. So what we need to do is renumber our clones, but first we want to shuffle them. So we can select all of our clone layers and we'll come to the fourth button, which is shuffle clones. And if we hit this a few times, what you'll see is it mixes up all of our layer index numbers. So by doing this, we can then either select from the bottom up and hit the third button, which is renumber. And what you'll see now is we once again have our clones numbered from one to 13. Or we can select from top down and renumber and you'll see it's one to 13 like so. <clears throat> so what this has essentially done is assigned a new number to our previous clones. So now if we hit preview, you'll see we've got a much more varied animation where we have some squares, circles, triangles moving in different orders and it doesn't just feel like we have that big clump of squares. And then obviously we can still play our animation and you'll see our orange square still becomes important as we animate it on its individual keyframes, like so. So that's how you would add new shapes or any artwork. Obviously this could be Photoshop artwork, it could be vector layers directly from Illustrator itself. It can even be pre-comps. That's how you would add to an existing clone system. Uh, again, please watch the rest of the demos for other advanced features.